hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're joining me for the very first time my name is fajira i'm happy to have you in my beautiful family in today's video i am going to show you a quick and easy way on how you can grill those delicious catfish as you can see in front of me you can actually grill it and enjoy it just this way so guys stay tuned let's quickly dive into it So we are going to be grilling for big catfish as you can see in front of me they are all washed and ready to be grilled so before i go ahead to marinate this catfish i'm going to prepare this sauce in this plate i don't know if you can remember this video i uploaded about this universal sauce that i use for everything so these are the peppers i'm going to be using bell pepper chili pepper hot pepper scotch bonnet onions so i'm going to blend them together as you can see <laughs> just in case you can hear the voice of my little man yes he's here with me we're actually doing this video together so my pepper is blended now and i'm just going to go ahead to fry it so this sauce does not require any tomato puree or tomato paste i actually use different type of peppers like i mentioned and also onion for this sauce so i'm going to put a clean frying pan now and allow it to dry up before adding my red oil so i'm going to bleach this red oil for at least three minutes just as you can see then i'm going to go ahead to put all the peppers and onion inside then i will allow it to i will stir and allow it to fry for at least two three minutes before i add my seasoning cube and my salt so this is our universal sauce i always talked about this sauce can be used to grill tilapia fish mackerel fish any other fish you want to grill it's always very easy when you have this sauce available so i'm adding in my seasoning cubes two seasoning cubes then I will go ahead to add some salt to test. This sauce can also be used to eat your bolle, roasted plantain, boiled yam, boiled plantain, boiled potato, just name it. It's a universal sauce. So I'm going to cover it and let it cook for at least three minutes. So back to our catfish, I'm making some incisions on them. And I'm doing that because I want the sauce to penetrate into the fish. So I'm just going to go ahead to do it on all four of the catfish. I know some people don't really like catfish like me, but trust me, if you prepare your catfish like this, you will like it. I was able to eat it. I, I'm not a fan of catfish, but this one was really, really, really nice so i had to eat it as well with my family i know catfish is one fish that a lot of people don't really like including myself but after grilling my catfish this way i was able to eat it i had a lot i had really really a lot so at this point you're going to apply this sauce on the fish make sure you apply it properly just as you can see me apply the sauce is what does the job because as it's grilling it's going to absorb the sauce so after adding the sauce the only thing i added is one seasoning cube so i use one seasoning cube on each fish so i use four in total so after adding the seasoning cube i'm going to also add the salt to it so this like i said the sauce does the job for you over to the next one i'm just going to carry on this way with the four so always make sure that you apply a lot of the sauce on the catfish i know catfish is really slippery but just keep applying so while i'm applying the sauce i have already turned on my oven to heat it up before placing the fish in it
that I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead to place them on the uh, oven rack covered with my baking paper. I was meant to use foil, but I couldn't find my foil. But somewhere along the video, I was able to find my foil and I changed it. But at the moment, I'm placing them on my oven rack covered with my baking paper. Baking paper is not really good when you're actually grilling because it allows the, the, the water from whatever you're grilling to settle on top of it, unlike the foil. When you use foil, you'll notice that the water that comes out from what you're grilling doesn't settle on the foil. So I'm going to quickly look for my foil now. Then I'll add some salt and grill for at 170 degrees. So here is it. This is the top. So we're still going to go ahead to add some of our sauce. We'll just carry on doing that because it's actually the sauce that is doing the job. We're not adding any other seasoning cubes, salt or whatever. It's just the sauce we made that we're going to use till the end of this grilling. I'm going to add more. Then I will close the oven. Remember I said I was grilling at 170 degrees. But it looks like I'm going to increase it now to 190 degrees. So I'm just going to turn it over to the other side and still allow it to grill. But before I do that, if I close the oven, I'm going to apply the sauce. Be careful when turning it because the oven is really, really very hot. If you've got oven gloves, you can go ahead to use that too. So I'm applying the sauce now. going to apply some salt to it so if you look at it now in the video I've actually changed it to foil so I'm using the foil now I finally found my foil in the house I didn't know it was still there so we are back to it after 10 minutes and this is how our catfish looks and it's ready but I think I'm still going to allow it to grill for another five minutes before I bring it out Five minutes later, our grilled catfish is ready. Look at how inviting and how delicious it looks. I haven't tested it, but I know that it's going to taste really, really good. So yeah, it's it. It's all ready and we are good to serve it. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I served it with some chips and some salad. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed it till now you haven't subscribed to my channel please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this so yeah it's a grilled catfish and like i said the test was heavenly i had some eaters people that actually ate it and they confirmed that it was really nice so here are my eaters i won't mention their name <laughs> but they know themselves because they'll be watching this video too yeah it was really nice so this was another eater as well uh-huh uh-huh and this was what i had for myself so guys thank you very much for watching till now and see you in my next video do take care of yourself god bless you Bye-bye.